Hey there, Sharon Horn Awesome here. This would have been the perfect filter for my pails as a ghost idiom today for supersize your business. But of course, I didn't find it until right now as I'm doing my what you have to now documenting my journey as I transition and I'm involved in different businesses, both offline and online. We're 48 years in offline businesses, over a quarter century of that simultaneously in corporate America, moved into the online world in 2017, uh, looking to duplicate my success offline, online, and then pandemic hit. And in 2020, I decided that I needed to be and keep my feet in both worlds. So I'm, I'm doing both online and offline businesses and helping business owners to grow and supersize their business, both online and offline. Usually if they don't have an online component by adding an online component, especially since COVID-19 made that absolutely necessary. So we talked about in As Pale As A Ghost for Supersize Your Business, the 10 biggest business problems that people face when they're supersizing and growing their business. You know, uh, things like uncertainty, globalization, innovation, um, government policies and regulations. That's impacted and continues to impact many, many industries, especially since COVID. Almost every industry has been impacted by what we would consider government policy and procedures or regulations. Technology, diversity, complexity, information overload, supply chain, strategic thinking, problem solving. All of these are the 10 biggest problems that business owners face as they grow and scale and supersize their business. And they're all, of course, overcomable or no businesses would be giant and supersized. And we know we've got lots of giant supersized businesses in the world. And if you want to have one of them, you have to have a way of dealing with each and every one of these things, plus much, much more. These are just the 10 biggest ones. There are infinite possible little problems that can come up when you're growing and building and scaling your business. Our topic for our annual challenge this year, BU 365 Day Challenge, to do one thing every day that improves us, was about breathing. And we talked about uh, eight different ways of breathing. You know, we all know how to breathe. We, we come out of the womb and we breathe. And from that point on, we breathe for the rest of our life. And, and most of the time, we don't give it a second thought unless, of course, we have breathing challenges, unless we get sick, unless we have uh, a cold, a flu, COVID, or something like that, or uh, other things that impair our ability to breathe we really just take it for granted that we're going to but we can use breathing as a way to increase our health increase our energy reduce our stress and anxiety and just make us feel better as well as physically being healthier by making sure that we are getting a, a good flow of, of oxygen and air into our bodies and then releasing as many toxins and things as we can we can also use breathing to focus and quiet our mind and give us an opportunity to reduce our stress or to focus on the things that are really important for us. So those are the two pieces of content I shared today. Uh, working on, still working on my calendar. I think I finished another month yesterday of just mapping out the annual challenge. Again, I'm, I'm pot, putting it in little pockets of time that I have in order to map that out. Uh, I suppose, you know, maybe I'll get more formal with it next year and I'll plan it all ahead at the end of this year so it's ready to go next year and I'm not still talking about it but the truth is what we do what we can when we it becomes a priority for us we do what we do when we do it because we decide to do it if that makes sense so that's uh, a couple things I'm working on I've got a, a client coming in in a few minutes so I'm going to say sayonara have an awesome day if I can help you in any way ask otherwise I'll be with you tomorrow